In this video, we're playing... Laser tag! Let's go! So, I think I must have been about 14 or 15 and this new place opened up near where I lived and it was called Quasar. I'd never heard of it before. Um, so me and some friends went to try it out and it basically was a laser shooting game. And ever since then, I've really loved laser tag or Quasar or whatever you want to call it. And recently I saw these, that's the Legacy Toys uh, laser set. Um, so I've managed to pick up uh, this laser tag set. This is uh, a four pack, um, so you can get them individually, packs of two and pack of four. This one comes with a little own uh, carry case. So I thought I'd open them up, show you what they're all about and uh, you know, see if they're worth uh, the money. They're not uh, cheap. I got these in uh, the Amazon Prime Day sale, so I saved uh, a few pounds, but looking online, I haven't really seen many people talking uh, about well, I would say you know, reasonably affordable um, laser tag equipment. So I thought we would check them out. So let's open up the box. So it's just a cardboard box with a, a magnet top. So we open up here. Do, 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 do. Here is a nice quick start guide. We'll look at that shortly. Get that out of the way. And here we go. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It is a box with some foam padding. Uh, there's two layers to it. So on the top here we have um, a blue gun and a white gun. And uh, let's get those out. Let me have a look at them. There we go. We have a white gun just there. Remove the padding. Green gun and a red gun. Let's just see if there's anything else. I'm not expecting there to be anything else underneath there. Let's just double check. No, there's just some polystyrene at the bottom. So let's move these out of the way and talk to you a little bit about these guns. Okay, so as you can see, um, Different colours of pistol. That's kind of irrelevant, really, other than obviously you just knowing you know, if you have a favourite colour or something, I guess. Um, so, four different colours to choose from. We'll look at the white one uh, and then go through everything. So, these guns are relatively lightweight. Um, the way they work is the I guess the light emitting sensor is also uh, the, the, the target sensor. So this is where uh, it picks up if you've been shot. So there's no sensors uh, down the sides or anything. Also, you're not wearing anything. So some of the, you know, if you go to a, I guess a professional uh, laser tag setup, you, you put a, uh, a jacket on, it's got front, side and shoulder sensors. Um, but no, this is just through the front. Um, so. I was a bit worried that, that might not be very good, um, so I did do some research before buying these. Um, people basically say that it works, it works pretty well, and actually these are one of the, the better sets. I think they're more popular in the US than they are over here in Europe. Um, so yeah, let's take you through a little bit um, about what the guns are uh, in terms of what we can see, and uh, then we'll pop some batteries in and give you a little short demo. So on the front here is a basic on and off switch. So it's very easy to turn on and off. Uh, and obviously the main thing with these is they're obviously aimed at uh, kids uh, and older kids like me, um, but they need to be easy to use. So one of the things, uh, for example, when I play with my son uh, with the Nerf guns, um, he still 
sometimes struggles to, to cock the gun and shoot it, whereas this is really easy. Obviously we have the trigger here, underneath is a reload button. Uh, here, and you'll see this shortly when we turn it on, there are three uh, little screen, little, or little, uh, I think they're LEDs, little uh, sections that light up. This represents your life, so how many lives you have, or how much, uh, um, yeah, how much health. Uh, and then we have two other buttons. One of them we use to cycle the teams, so we have uh, people all for themselves, or uh, going to teams, we'll look at that in a moment and the other one rotates to the type of weapon. So even though this is one gun, it has multiple weapons in there. Again, we'll cover that uh, as well, but things like uh, a pistol, it could be a rocket launcher, shotgun, etc., etc. So, um, just trying to think. So let's uh, pop some batteries in, and uh, then I'll turn it on and we can talk about it a little bit more. Okay, um, so the batteries are in. So each of these take four uh, AA batteries. Once you've uh, added the batteries, it gives a little bit more weight to it, which makes it feel really good. Um, so then we'll turn it on, and I'll basically take you through, um, you know, how it works, what it looks like. So again, remember, uh, up here uh, is the, I guess, the, the sensor, the light emitting sensor um, that you're shooting with, and the bottom one uh, has a, a reasonably good radius in terms of when people are shooting you to uh, pick it up. So, you flick the on button. Let me just do this here. Okay, and you see uh, the gun lights up. Um, so as I mentioned before, you've got your three health points this currently signifies that we're on the blue team. If we uh, press this button, that's it. that um, shoot changes weapons. So we have uh, a pistol, a shotgun, uh, a submachine gun, and a rocket launcher. Each time you change uh, a weapon, you need to reload, because if I try it now, you see, just a click. If I reload, shotgun is working. Uh, this other button is to cycle teams, so there's four teams, so currently we're on the blue team, now we're on the red team, now we're on the green team, and now we're on the white team. So I think these are going to look really awesome uh, at night, so you can see uh, the colour and your health on both sides. Obviously when you're shooting, you see that this, um, I guess, shot bar or light bar lights up. Yeah, if we just turn it off again, um, and I'll show you the different um, modes. So it starts off loaded in pistol mode. So in pistol mode, you get um, 12 shots available, and each shot does one health of damage. So if you get a direct hit uh, with a pistol, it's going to take off one of these, and you get 12 shots of it. Uh, the shotgun has six shots. So you're going to have to reload uh, more regularly. Um, but if you get a direct hit, you're going to take two lives away. Uh, the submachine gun also has six and also takes um, two health points away. And then finally, the rocket launcher, that has only one shot. Uh, and if you are fortunate enough to get a direct hit, you're going to take all three of the health bar points away. Obviously then, uh, depending on what kind of game you're playing, you just need to sit out, or you can power cycle the gun, reselect your team, and obviously then you're good to go again. So it depends what rules you're playing against. So, um, as we can see, uh, there is a slight change in sound, depending on what gun you're using. Also, what's quite good is there's um, a, like a force feedback or vibration um, feature in the handle here, so similar um, to the controller of a games console, every time you fire, you're, you're getting some reverb, so it, it feels like something is happening, so that's good. So, as I said, this is the pistol. It works really well. We change now uh, to the shotgun. Again, we have to reload. Shotgun. So obviously there's, a, there's a change in tone as well as um, a slight change in vibration as well. Now we change to the submachine gun. 
So this time, when I hold the trigger, it's gonna do multiple firing in one go. So we've got three shots per um, firing there. And then finally, we change the rocket launcher. So there is a delay here. So when you hold uh, the trigger, well, so when you click the trigger, you hold it, and then it's obviously firing the rocket. So we try that again. Okay, so you have to make sure you're a bit more timely um, with your shooting there. So uh, if we just turn on one of the other guns as well, just so we can see how this works. Okay, so then also uh, on the blue team, so I'm not quite sure how this works if um, you shoot someone on your own team. Uh, change to pistol. Okay. Okay, so friendly fire is disabled, which is excellent. If we now change uh, to a different team here, so now this is the red team, so this is going with a pistol. Okay, and there's full speed up and you've been hit as well. And as you can see, one of those life lights is flashing now. So there must be multiple um, shots per, per life, so that's obviously one shot. Two shots. Okay, there's three shots, so you have three health bars per bar, I, I guess, or oh, three health slots per bar. So basically, if you would get shot three times a rocket launcher, you'd be out. So you're gonna try the shotgun. So this, obviously, should take, uh, still have two on after a direct hit. Okay, and one more, that should take it out. Okay, and if we're down to the last one now. And one more hit on this should, should kill the person. Okay, so now all lights have gone out uh, and the light is flashing. Signifies they are out of the game. So as I mentioned before, uh, to get back in the game, you would have to power cycle the device, turn it back on again, and you're good to go. So hopefully we get a little bit of footage uh, at the end of this, I'm uh, just having a quick go in the garden, see how uh, it works, see how they look. I'm really looking forward uh, to trying these out. So we'll either do a follow-up video to see how well they're lasting um, with kids uh, using them in anger, um, or uh, depending on timing, uh, perhaps we'll just have a follow-up at the end of this video saying how well they're, they're working after trying them out. So I'm really impressed with them. Um, that's a good weight to them. They feel they feel sturdy. They feel, they feel kind of well built. And um, there's a little bit of um, I guess tarnishing on some of the plastics and I guess the, the molds they come out of. Um, there's a little bit of I, I guess loose um, plastic material and the the on off switch is a little bit flimsy, but everything works really well. I think the main thing uh, with these. Uh, or any uh, battery powered equipment like this. Obviously, if you're not using them regularly, you should take the batteries out or they're gonna leak and spoil. Um, and I think specifically with these, you know, I'm gonna keep them um, in the case so they uh, can last as long as possible. Depending how well this goes, uh, I'll probably buy a couple more of these. So as far as I'm aware, there isn't a limit as to how many uh, people you can have uh, on one team. So, so you, you're limited to four teams, um, but um, you shouldn't be limited to how many people you have on those teams. Obviously, as we've established, there's no friendly fire, so it's never going to be all man for themselves, or, or all woman, or all people for themselves. Um, but I think there's lots of opportunities for you to have some good fun with these. So Let's um, cut to some footage of having a quick go of these and then hopefully a wrap up and uh, let you know if I've changed my mind on how good or bad I think these are uh, and whether you should check them out. So as I mentioned before, they're around £25 each, I think it was, per gun. Is that right? No, maybe more than that. Um, I'll, I'll check and put the, the price up here. I know for, for these four in the Prime sale, um, they cost me £80. You can get um, one of these guns with this little spider thing that basically uh, has a sensor on it. It's like target practice, it scampers around uh, and then you shoot it and it 
I think it flips over and then it comes back to life and all sorts of things. So that'd be great fun for kids. Um, so yeah, I put some pricing uh, up here as to what the current costs are at the moment in the UK um, for using these. But no, I'm I'm excited to check this out. It's good good adult kid fun. Um, Shooting lasers is always good. I think the one thing that I'm slightly skeptical about, but it's not the end of the world, is you know, how accurate do you need to be with this? Only one point of sensor. Um, you know exactly how how uh, far can you be at what angle um, to get a good hit in? But no, I think they're good um, so far. So uh, let's cut to some footage and get our final thoughts. Oh, uh, the one thing I forgot to mention, uh, and again we're we'll testing this out as well, they should be good for around 14 meter range. That seems like a, a long uh, distance, so we'll see how good that really is. Uh, I plan to hopefully try it out uh, in the woods at some point, and so then we'll really have uh, a much better range. Also, there'll be some obstacles um, with the trees and what have you. So 40 meters, again, that, that seems really good to me. Um, so uh, reality will tell us if this is real or not, or if it's just some marketing bump to make you think they're more awesome than they are. So anyway, less chatting, let's go on with some shooting. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm breathing. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. And the doors are closing in. See, I know this. I'm the last case in real life I've noticed. Who's in focus? Breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I. So that was our first game. What did you think? Okay. It's good. It's good. Um, so it seems to work really well. Uh, the range seems pretty good. Uh, you don't need too many direct hits, it seems to work. Um, so I don't know actually how many meters the garden is, definitely nowhere near the 40 meter requirement. Um, I think it's good. So I had one and a half lives left, and you're fully dead. Yeah, fully dead. Cool. And you were the blue team. Yeah. And I was a red team. Right, let's reload. I'll start again. Reload. Turn those down. Up again. I have a red Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.